These former fighters are among thousands of children recruited into a militia in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They say they took up arms because their Kasai region had been neglected for years by former President Joseph Kabila for being pro-opposition. At this rehabilitation center in Kasai, the government is trying to help them reintegrate into their communities. When we interact with children, there's a real need for education. Even as a family, parents are not really able to pay their children's school fees properly. Fighting between the Kamwina and Sapo militia and government forces has been devastating for many people living in Kasai. The UN says at least 3,000 people have been killed and nearly 1.4 million displaced over nearly a decade. In January, Congo got a new president, former opposition candidate Felis Tshisekedi, who's from Kasai. We want to build a strong Congo with its cultural diversity and its attachment to the motherland, a Congo turned toward its development in peace and security, a Congo for all in which everyone has a place. Since Chisekedi's inauguration, thousands of fighters have decided to lay down their arms. We know that the war has ended. We have no more problems. We were fighting for power. Felix's power has finally arrived. The power of Felix Chisekedi. So far, hundreds of child soldiers have been reunited with their families. Now, the government hopes to provide more opportunities through education and jobs training to prevent the former fighters from once again picking up a gun. Usman Ali Uba, TRT World.